Thomas, The Public Speech by Dr. King. And so do you know that it's been 57 years since Dr. King, I Have a Dream speech was given? 57 years. And 57 years later, mankind is still struggling with breaking many injustices, division, and boundaries depicted in the iconic speech, I Have a Dream. And so oftentimes when we speak about the history of our country, we hone in on its pain, its segregation, and all of the turmoil that hate and inequality has done in the human race. And so today, I would like to focus on the love of our human race and the impact that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. dream has given us today. So today I look into the audience filled with victories and especially when I look into the eyes of Mary Monique Owens. And Dr. Martin Luther King's speech, I quote, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And I wonder where he got this message from. And I would like to think that it was from Jehovah. God is not partial, said the Apostle Peter. But in every nation, the man that fears him and walks righteousness and acceptable to him. Further, the Apostle Paul he testified and asked that God made out of one man every nation of men. So then, it is only reasonable to conclude that all humans are equal in God's sight, no matter what their physical characteristics are. The fine city of East Point show their agreement with this sentiment of, of Dr. King's and the Apostle Peter and Paul when they made history in selecting the first African-American woman mayor, Monique Owens. And so then, I quote from I Promise speech, we refuse to believe that they are insufficient funds in the great vault of opportunity of this nation. And so again, I would like to quote that again because we're talking about opportunity here, right guys? It says, we refuse to believe that we are insufficient funds in great vaults of opportunity of this nation. <coughs> so Mayor Monique Owens is a fine example of the filming of Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. A beautiful woman, a foreign, a former sheriff's deputy, and the East Point's first black councilwoman, first got an East Point Council's member term after their untimely death, but the city chose another candidate. And eventually, in 2017, Owens made history by becoming East Point's first black councilwoman. And now, just in two years later, 24 months later, she's changing history again, and she's living a fulfillment of a dream. And I would like to welcome you, Monique Mayor Owens of East Point, Michigan. May we give her a round of applause.
everybody doesn't want his dream to be reality. Everyone likes to pretend they want his dream, but no one wants to make it reality because it messes up their reality. It may comfort. Their reality is keeping things segregated, being superior, and staying in control is their reality, and they want to keep it that way. Martin Luther King knew everyone didn't share his dream. He knew that. He and I, and many others, work hard to make a reality so we can start dreaming and start dreaming about something else. So what happened to his dream, everybody? What happened to it? 57 years later, we're still dreaming the same dream. Don't you want to see black judges? Black clerks? Black Well, if you want to see this, then it's time to wake up. Thank you.